Uh, and he turns and Devedix has been left in too much room onto his left foot. Telford finally closed him off, but he gets his pass out to the left. Sterling towards the near post. Miller, game over! Dover are going to win this game by three goals to one. Telford have fallen apart at the end of this game. And, well, there are serious questions now. They are heading to their... A breakthrough. Nicky Devedix with the delivery. Ricky Miller with the header deflected past keeper Cameron Belford. ...that were perhaps fortunate when Ricky Miller fired them ahead. A superb finish from Miller, his fifth of the season, the suggestions of handball. ...interval. Dover winning the ball back in midfield. And once it landed at the feet of Ricky Miller, he only had one thing in mind, namely smashing the ball past Dixon to make it... It was a great start, but Halifax had failed to keep a clean sheet in their 29 previous matches. And that run continued when Ricky Miller pulled one back for Dover. And they were level before the break in fortuitous circumstances. Ricky Miller's shot fumbled in by Paul Farman. But the match winner was that man Miller. There didn't seem to be much danger when Dover's number nine picked the ball up with his back to goal, but Miller somehow wriggled past two Lincoln defenders before firing past Farman from an improbable angle. Five minutes at Crabble, Ricky Miller anticipating the poor backheader from Curtis, and Miller eventually broke the deadlock for Dover. Forceful run down the right, cutting the ball back for Miller, who stroked home his 14th goal of the campaign. Six in four games. Still thinking about their fallen teammate, Torquay, were in turmoil. Toby Ajala's back pass seized upon by Miller. That's three and three for him and three goals in... ...back to uh, Devidic. Cross coming in again. Oh, it's a goal there for Dover. Also... But how about this for a Route 1 equaliser? There was only one more touch of the ball once it left keeper Mitch Walker's boot. That came from Ricky Miller. Dover's top scorer moves on to 20 goals this season.
Dover displayed their firepower. Last season's top scorer Ricky Miller off the bench and onto the score sheet within minutes of his introduction to make it one all. Thomas looking to go on the outside of Noble. Pulls across a good ball as well. Equaliser! Ricky Miller gets Dover on terms. And it's Miller who's placed this here. A player full of confidence. Can he put Dover in front? Yeah! He can! Ricky Miller gets his second of the game. And instant control by Miller. Has Lafayette up in support. Stevenson's arriving as well. Miller! It's a rocket! It's a hat trick for Ricky Miller! It is quite oh. simply stunning from Dover. Thriller at Crabble. Ricky Miller was the hat trick hero that day, and he continued his fine goal scoring form here. This clinical finish giving his side the lead after 24 minutes. If Dover are to match last season's her. Dover did succeed in halving the deficit as Miller managed to get his name on the score sheet. Ten goals this season for Miller. That's bad news when Ricky Miller's around. Dover's number nine is their leading marksman. He turned the game on its head to put... Miller is capable of producing the spectacular and he did just that to double his account. The rest was yet to come. Miller was a man on a mission, outdoing himself to complete a sensational first half hat trick and put the game to bed with just 30. Braintree keeper Joe Taylor had only signed for the club the day before this match and he'll be hoping he does. However, with just eight minutes left to play, Dover levelled the tie. The National League's top goal scorer, Ricky Miller, with his 18th goal of the campaign. The former Cambridge City man, clearly delighted to have earned the Whites another chance. National League leading marksman Miller then found his scoring touch in the second half, equalising after Ross Lafayette had flicked the ball through. Seven minutes later, it was Miller again, this time slipping behind the defence and finishing to put Dover 2-1 up. And the visitors didn't stop there. Lafayette hit the post with his effort before Miller rushed through to complete his third hat-trick of the season. He now has 21 goals in all competitions. Here's Kinnear. Oh, it's a lovely ball from Kinnear. And Miller's in here. And he just can't stop scoring. It just had to be him, didn't it? Cambridge, where they eventually lost 4-2 after extra time. But Chris Kinnear's side came to life in the second half, breaking the deadlock through who else but Ricky Miller, who was credited with his 19th of the campaign, despite a slight Moses Emmanuel. He's pushed on to Magri. Decent cross towards the far post. And it's that man, Ricky Miller. Berlin. Nicks the ball away from McAllister, sends Miller, Collins slips, Miller still has possession, on his left foot, and drills it over for Dover, sixth of the... But the visitors couldn't keep Miller at bay for much longer as he grabbed his 22nd goal in 20 appearances this campaign. Dagenham held on.
denied one penalty appeal, but not a second. Rooney Hack Miller is the top scorer in the National League. That's goal number 25 for the season and an incredible 18 in the last 13 matches. He will always fancy his team's chances with Ricky Miller in the 11. Chester keeper Liam Roberts gave the ball straight to Dover's number nine and that spelled danger as Miller wriggled his way into the area, inviting the challenge from Matty Waters. Penalty to the hosts. There was little doubt that Dover's leading marksman would open the scoring from the spot goal number 26 of the campaign. It took four minutes of the second half for the home side to re-establish their advantage and it was Miller making trouble for Chester again as he drove in his 27th in 27 National League fixtures. Kinnear's surely desperate for the end of the transfer window. Just four minutes had passed when the visitors' defence failed to clear their lines. The ball eventually dropped to the league's leading marksman, Ricky Miller, who made no mistake in front of goal. Extended their lead thanks to that man, Miller, who saw his shot squirm past Ryan Clark in the Eastleigh goal. The decision not to cash in on the National League's top scorer in January is looking more inspired by the game. With 10 minutes remaining, Miller completed his fourth hat-trick of the season when he wriggled past two Eastleigh defenders before finishing into the far corner, taking the strikers' league tally to 30 in the process. Dover remain in fifth and are once again in strong contention for the playoffs. Victory. Chris Kinnear could welcome back Ricky Miller after injury and it didn't take long for the National League's leading scorer to make an impact, rifling home his 31st goal of the season after a quarter of an hour. The home side struggled to contain Miller all afternoon, Dover's number nine wriggling his way into the area before being tripped by Marcus Williams, penalty given. Miller stepped up to make it 32 for the campaign, more than any National League player managed all of last season. Usually the Ricky Miller section of the show. The National League's top scorer breaking the deadlock for Dover in sumptuous style, lashing a free kick past Gateshead goalkeeper James Montgomery. Can't keep the division's leading marksman out for long. Miller wriggling free to register his 34th league goal of the campaign. Dover now sit two points away from the playoffs with a game in hand and a striker on fire. For the hosts in the 89th minute, it had to be that man Miller with his 35th league goal of the campaign. Braintree slip into the relegation zone while Dover are now level on points with fifth place Daldershot. We've kept to go, Dover delivered a dagger to the heart of Southport. Ricky Miller's volley somehow found a way through goalkeeper Cheaton. A 36th league goal of the season for Miller as the dreaded drop beckoned for the visitors. Visitors were level within three minutes when the league's leading marksman Ricky Miller volleyed home his 38th of an incredible season was given a superb opportunity to edge his side in front when he was brought down by Danny Livesey in the box. Penalty, Dover. The result from the spot was never really in doubt as Miller calmly beat Jonathan Flatt. Being the case, it was Miller's day and in added time he chased down a long ball before smashing home his 40th of the season, the second highest tally there has ever been in the fifth tier. It's sixth where Dover end up.